My name is Mike Friend and I specialise in performance and education. What I did in 2006 is I basically headhunted eight performers, an actor, a singer and mostly circus performance and I created what is now known as the Loon Circus Theatre Company. I think they're just incredible, like the skill sets that they all bring collectively and individually just make the shows. Mike's skill I think and strength is that he has a show and he knows where the direction of it's going but the detail uh, largely involves around the, the skill level of the people that he's got and, and what skills they bring and he just integrates it beautifully into shows. Please welcome the inimitable Sky Rocky! I mean, you know their little loon sign, it's, it's still really embedded in there. You just put it up, put some lights and some disco balls and you feel like you're almost back on Canterbury Street again, you know? Before the earthquakes, uh, we were based at the Loons, uh, which we converted into a, a venue with an extraordinary sense of hospitality. What the Loons did was uh, produce quality shows. People were coming through the tunnel from Christchurch, having a great meal out, going to see a theatre show, and then going for a drink in all the bars in Littleton. The ambition was to get people into the theatre who never went to the theatre. And that, and that was something that Mike achieved time and time again with the shows. Having the Loons in Littleton has meant that we've been able to attend performances that we wouldn't otherwise have attended, and especially with The Butler, when that was a really amazing circo arts performance, but incorporated so many different things. It really was something which resonated a lot with the people in Littleton and also around New Zealand. We have toured internationally and throughout the whole of New Zealand, taking a show to London for a four-week season, The Butler, and uh, the most recent show, uh, Hannison, completed its New Zealand tour at the Q Theatre in Auckland. When we've toured with our shows, uh, we go around and offer schools also um, workshops and such things. So taking uh, theatre and circus out to the masses and um, kids love it. I really like doing drama with the loons because I find I learn a lot. How to just talk freely and not scare like tense. And Mike's a really good teacher and you learn heaps. The flair and passion that those people bring to our children is great and we also as a community are really fortunate to have their input into a whole variety of things that happen for the community in Littleton for example, quiz nights which the loons organise and they're always well attended. It provides a great social function and a meeting place for the community to come together. It's what we set out to do in 2006 and it was really working and then the bloody earthquake came along. Basically, without a venue, we don't have a home. We have nowhere to meet, we have nowhere to rehearse, we have nowhere to be creative, we have nowhere to create new work. There is no incentive, really, for any of us to get together uh, because of the cost of hiring studios, for rehearsal spaces, all that kind of stuff. And uh, so basically, uh, the company have separated and we are just waiting the opportunity to come back together and uh, carry on what we were doing before the earthquake. The 2010 series of earthquakes in Christchurch devastated Littleton. Despite losing their theatre, the Loons delivered their adaptation of Macbeth to the 2011 Christchurch Arts Festival. Tonight's the opening night of Macbeth. We're putting it on amidst the rubble and it's completely sold out and it's going to knock everyone's socks off. It's beautiful, the front three rows of the um, auditorium there are all old volcano seats. And like I've stacked them, moved them a hundred times and it's so delicious to see them all there back in action. Well we looked at a million spots, eh? it was all important to all of us that it was out here. Uh, makes a big difference to us. Yeah, couldn't be a better place. Amen. After Macbeth, the Loons fought to find spaces to rehearse and perform Hannison, which went on to tour in 10 New Zealand locations to critical acclaim. But after Hannison, still with no theatre, the Loons performers were forced to leave and seek work in other cities. Mike had nowhere to teach Loons in schools either. So again, the Loons used its professional theatre skills to provide a temporary solution while the school and theatre rebuild. So what's happened at the moment is Littleton Main has been demolished and what we've done is we've moved the theatre up to here. So we've constructed the stage and all the lighting as a temporary measure. 
and this basically is where we teach. Loons in Schools is vocational training that allows children to know more about the vocations involved in drama and the arts. It also inspires children and lights their fires and shows them what's possible to do in their lives. When I was in England, I, I created what was known as Hurtwood Theatre. And what I did, which was so different, was that I brought the professional industry into education. And I believe that can work in Littleton. I believe that if you mix the industry with education, it just is a perfect match. Everyone benefits. It is this mutual benefit that has given rise to a fantastic opportunity for the arts and arts education here in Christchurch. The Ministry of Education and Littleton Primary are now partnering with the Loons Theatre Trust to build a dual facility school hall and theatre. Amazing opportunity. Where else can you get a chance to, to first of all, build a theatre uh, and second of all, work with the local community and the local school uh, to have an integration of Mike and myself and the professional element that we can bring in terms of professional theatre, working with children at a primary school level. And, and I think that'll be quite unique too and it'll be very exciting to see where that goes. It is going to be state of the art, it is going to be modern, it is going to be exciting and it is going to allow our school and our children much greater opportunities and possibilities than are possible at the current time. The new theatre will also enable the Loon's performers to return to Christchurch to produce their unique brand of world-class theatre and for a new generation of talent to be brought into the world of professional entertainment. It will also provide Littleton and Christchurch with a much-needed performance and community venue. The Loon's Theatre Trust needs to raise funds for the retractable seating and fit-out of the new theatre. A contribution of 40,000 from the Todd Foundation and 62,000 from the Christchurch Earthquake Appeals Trust has already been received and will be put against Phase 1 building. If you would like to discuss contributing to funding, sponsorship or collaboration, please contact Kate Anastasiou on 021 343 544 or email projects at theloons.co.nz. But I'm looking over your shoulder at the harbour and the lights out there and it all looks great and it feels like we're coming back again after the quake.